What's the difference between discrete TPM and firmware TPM? Have you ever wondered how your personal computer keeps your sensitive data safe? One key player in this security game is the Trusted Platform Module, often referred to as TPM. Today, we will break down the differences between discrete TPM and firmware TPM, helping you understand which might be best for your needs. A discrete Trusted Platform Module is a dedicated chip that is physically soldered onto your computer's motherboard. This chip is designed to be tamper-resistant, providing a high level of security against physical attacks. Because it operates independently, it can be certified for various security standards, making it a popular choice in business and industrial settings. Discrete TPMS are often required in environments where strict security measures are necessary, such as government organizations. On the other hand, Firmware Trusted Platform Module is not a separate chip. Instead, it runs as protected software within the main central processing unit. This means that the TPM functions are executed inside a secure area of the processor. While firmware TPM offers good security for everyday use, it is less tamper-resistant than discrete TPM because it relies on the security of the central processing unit and its firmware. One of the advantages of firmware TPM is that it is more cost-effective and space-saving. This makes it an attractive option for smaller devices or integrated systems where adding a separate chip may not be practical. Major central processing unit manufacturers, like Intel and Advanced Micro Devices, provide their own firmware TPM solutions, which can often be enabled or disabled in the basic input-output system settings. Both discrete and firmware TPM support the same features, such as enabling BitLocker encryption and secure authentication. For most personal computers, firmware TPM provides sufficient security while keeping hardware costs down. However, for enterprise-level systems or environments that requiring higher security assurances, discrete TPMS are the preferred choice. When looking at your computer's basic input-output system settings, you may find options to enable either firmware TPM or discrete TPM if both are available. Understanding these differences can help you make informed decisions about your computer's security features. So, whether you choose a discrete or firmware trusted platform module, knowing the distinctions can guide you toward the right choice for your computing needs.